So everything is going up in 2022. So today I'm going to show you how to save a little bit of money, create your own DVD library, your own movie library, so you don't have to subscribe to your streaming services. So movies like this, which you can pick up in charity shops for so cheap. I mean, I can pick up 10 DVDs for one pound. I'm going to show you how to get all that onto your little hard drive so you don't have to stream off these streaming services anymore using a software that's really so simple to use. I really mean that. It's really, really simple to use. It's called Video Proc Converter. Not only does it do DVDs, but also does, uh, so you can edit video as well. You can download any video off the internet. For example, the one that you're watching right now. So anything in a web-based streaming format, uh, you can download. Like, uh, really, really simple as well. You can record your screen as well. Uh, so if you're into streaming, that's a good idea. You can record straight onto YouTube. But we're going to concentrate on DVD in this video here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on it now. And this is the interface right now. So it's very, very simple and straightforward to use. I'm going to get in a little bit more detail later on. But I'm going to show you how simple it is initially, how easy it is to use. Uh, all you have to do is click on disk, okay? Now, it already detects the, the disk that I've got on in it right now, which is Jumanji. So it's quite a, a new movie. It's not an older movie. 2019 it was. And it also detects it automatically. So you just click on done, and then it'll do a little analyze of the DVD. This is DVD only, by the way, not Blu-ray. Now, here it is. It says analyze the new Disney Encrypt DVD detected. Now... This will go through, as you'll see, this software will go through any encryption, any encryption and any region, by the way. Uh, so what we do is we just click on OK. Now, you could actually click on that and it'll give you an explanation and of how uh, to get past all the, the encryption. But I'm going to show you how simple it is myself. So just click on OK. Automatically detects that this is the main title, Title 2. One point of note I would just want to add because I get asked this a lot. I've been doing videos like this for many years and I do get asked this question a lot. How do you know which file is the movie file? Because so many come up, right? Well, the way I recognize it straight away, even if this wasn't highlighted, is you look at this. You look at the dura duration, okay? It goes from 00, zero to one. 58, which is the length of the movie. You can check how long the movie is in the end at the back of your DVD. Uh, everything else you've got pretty much there to throw you. You've got a 13, you've got a 10 second, another 10 second. Uh, you've also got a 5 minute 30, you've got a 4 minute 30, a 13 minutes. Also, look out for sound. Sound doesn't have any audio. So if it's no audio, then that's probably a screen, a menu screen. Uh, that's why it's got no audio or it might have audio. But generally speaking, what you're looking for is this here, the duration, okay? And also the sound. And you can also, by the way, click on, if there's any subtitles, uh, you can put on subtitles. Those are embedded though. If you do it that way, the subtitles are embedded. Now, if you wanted to just um, run, you can just click on run because it automatically does everything for you. So it's automatically an MP4 by standard, MP4 format. Uh, it automatically detects what kind of uh, acceleration you've got, what kind of uh, processor you've got. If you click on that, it will give you an idea of what I've got. I'm using uh, an M1 Mac Mini. And you, literally, you could just press run. So that's what I'm going to do. It's already defaulted to uh, my volume, my, my SSD volume there, but you can change that if you like as well. You can also rename it if you like as well. But I'm just going to click on run. And that is it. Uh, that's how simple it is if you want to uh, just quickly make a copy of a DVD and in its original format to your hard drive. Really, 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 really simple. Uh, I mean, how simple was that? And it just takes a few minutes just to kind of get its idea of, of what it is actually going to be doing. Uh, and then what will happen is you'll see the little uh, percentage gauge go up and up and up. At the moment, it's analyzing at 545 frames per second. The remaining time is for my my setup right now, a little over half an hour. Now, that is my experience using my Mac. Uh, it doesn't take advantage of the, the acceleration. You'd need your NVIDIA or AMD. If you've got that on your PC, 
this works on a PC, Mac, by the way, uh, then, then you're, you, this will go a lot faster than mine. But as you can see, we've already uh, ripped over three minutes of it. And that's it, that is pretty much it. Now, if you wanna get into a little bit more detail, I'm gonna show you right now how to do that. So I'm just gonna stop that. Now that will have already give you a, a, a ripping of uh, about four minutes. I've done this a few times here, but this is it right here. So it's 89 megabits. Uh, roughly, it would be about two gig if I was gonna do the full, uh, full file there. Right, so if I wanted to go into a little bit more detail, if I wanted to rename it, for example, I can just rename it there and literally rename it anything you want uh, that you uh, choose, basically. Uh, if I wanted to edit it, then you can actually edit on the fly. fly. You can put in some effects, um, you can add some subtitles, you could cut it if you like. I wouldn't recommend it, just do it in a bit of software after you've done it. I'm gonna turn that off because it's gonna play the whole DVD there. You could crop it if you like, or you could add a watermark. So if you want to embed a watermark onto anything, uh, then you can do that as well. You can also do that to any file, by the way, any movie or anything like that as well, using one of the other options. Uh, at the very beginning where I was going through it. So if I wanted to change the Kodak or the format, I would just click on that. And this is where we get into the kind of nitty gritty of this uh, software. So if I wanted to do the highest quality, I would just stick that up there. Watch the size of the, the file. This will increase it and it'll also make it take longer as well. Now, this is our video codec options. I'm just gonna keep it at H2, H.264. Now, if I wanted to increase the resolution, I can actually try and force it into 4K if I like. You could do if you like. It is, it's a, I would say it's diminishing, the law of diminishing returns, because the file size does go up considerably. I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing that, but you could, or you could maybe go to 1080p, you know, something like that, and you've got a kind of compromise there, so you're still upscaling it. Now, this is the audio bit here as well. Now, I would basically, if you don't know what you're doing, this side of it, of it here, I would just uh, leave that alone. But this is the sound bit. Now, this has got a 5.1 sound soundtrack, so I definitely want to keep that. It will definitely keep uh, make it sound a lot better. The bit rate here, I would recommend putting up to 160, and the sample rate, I would just leave at the 44, 100. Uh, then click on done. As you can see, the estimated file size has doubled, uh, but I think you get a little bit better quality. But if you're not into that, if you don't care, if you're just going to rip this so that you can watch it on a tablet, then you really don't need to do any of that. Uh, although I would recommend doing the audio. And then it would just be a case of clicking run. If you want to change the output folder, you just literally press browse and, and you can browse to whatever uh, you wish. The other thing at the bottom here is we've got some options here. So target format literally is whatever you want. Basically any device that you want. I would just stick it to MP4, that's my preference. But if you want to do something else, then you can click on some of the options here uh, and you can go nuts there basically. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I mean, you can also back up straight backup DVD if you want, if you want to do a backup file. Uh, or you can, you can click by device, or if you want to just do music, you can do music as well. If you want to just back up the soundtrack, that you can do that as well. It's entirely up to you. Now, as I said, the name of this software is Video Proc uh, DVD Converter. Now they have got a, Hall a Halloween offer. So for a one year subscription, you could get it for $21.95 at the moment. Now, if you're in America or wherever you are, you are in the world, this will convert to your currency. Uh, that's for three Macs or three PCs, uh, one year subscription, $21.95, or if you want the lifetime license, it's $34.95. So happy ripping, basically, and I uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, and you'll enjoy the software as well. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. All the links will be in the description. All the links will be in a pinned comment. So if you want to click them, they'll be very easy for you to access. Wish you all a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care now.